January 1st marked the beginning of a series of changes to the TRICARE system to cover more services and enhance enrollees' well-being. Changes include medically necessary foods or vitamins, eligibility of certain enrollees for participation in the Federal Employees Dental and Vision Insurance Program, and extended coverage for National Guardsmen and dependents during some disaster relief duties. Beneficiaries were automatically enrolled into their respective plans at the beginning of the year. Prime enrollees remain under the Prime plan, while those who were enrolled in Standard or Extra are now covered under TRICARE Select. Anyone in a premium-based plan will remain in that plan and will be covered by Prime or Select benefits. New additions to TRICARE benefits include expanded access to urgent care and primary care, a nurse advice line, a standardized system for scheduling medical appointments, and the enhanced use of telehealth services. Urgent care is now available without a referral for everyone except active duty service members who will still need to receive one. Under the new contract, the previous North, South, and East regions have merged into two. The East is still covered by Humana Military, while the West is now covered by HealthNet Federal Services. TRICARE anticipates that by consolidating the region, they will be able to streamline the quality and effectiveness of the health care provided, thus providing better support and making any moves a little less stressful. 2018 will act as an open enrollment grace period, allowing beneficiaries to change or re-enroll into the plan they desire. Anyone who is not enrolled by the end of calendar year 2018 will have to wait until the annual enrollment period of 2019, which begins the Monday of the second full week of November through the Monday of the second full week of December. Enrollees whose enlistment or initial appointment began before January 1, 2018 will be known as grandfathered, while anyone whose enlistment began after that time will be known as non-grandfathered. Each group will have different enrollment fees and out-of-pocket costs. Variations are mostly seen in the retirees bracket. These changes can be seen in the annual enrollment, annual deductible, and catastrophic cap available each year. Separate plans will require separate enrollment fees. Beginning February 1, 2018, you can expect to see your pharmacy copays increase. These changes are required by law and affect beneficiaries who are not active duty military. TRICARE groups medications into three categories, generic formulary, brand name, and non-formulary. Generic being the least expensive and non-formulary having the highest copays. Military pharmacies will continue to provide medications at no cost, while retail pharmacies and home delivery copays will increase. In some cases, survivors of active duty service members may be eligible for lower cost-sharing amounts. For the West region, it is recommended that you register at TRICARE-WEST.COM to ensure that you have access to your referrals. Under the new contract, referrals will not be sent out unless you directly call and request a hard copy. The 21st Medical Group will have members in the lobby of the 21st Space Wing Clinic to assist in getting you registered if you're having any issues. Always remember that your TRICARE Operations and Patient Administration Office is there to help you if you are having issues with your health care services. For a full list of changes and information on them, visit tricare.mil changes and visit tricareonline.com to message your provider today.